Hey! <clears throat> Hey everybody, welcome to Showalter Guitars. This is episode 13 of building my first guitar with Showalter Guitars. I'm building an Osage Orange and Sycamore OM, and uh, today is neck day. Finally neck day, we're gonna glue the neck on, we're gonna do some stuff, we're gonna cut the headstock veneer. Steve and Joyce are in here. This is a really exciting day. Also, if this is your first time, make sure you're subscribed, and along the way, you are definitely going to have questions about thicknesses of things and spacing of things and material choices. Please let us know in the comments down below. You can address them to me or to Steve. We're going to do a questions episode here soon. But let's dig in. Let's see what's going on. And, um, oh, it's a good day. Hey, everybody. Hey, good morning. How are you? Hello, Jared. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah. This is your future headstock veneer. Hey, <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Love it. That's really Sweet. cool. Now I need to cut this up here to make room for the nut. Okay. Is that bone dust? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I got a new tool for this. This is a centering tool. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Is that we were talking about that the other day with the um, yeah as we're doing the dot. Yes. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Don't have to rely on, I had to rely too heavily on my public school math education that day. <laughs> uh, so, so now if, I guess we want to glue this on there. We're, uh, yeah, we're ready to glue that on there. We want to take it over there and glue it. And so I need to move that uh, guitar because we got the clamps over here. Okay. Turn it around this way. So yeah, I need to mix up some epoxy glue. Okay. I use epoxy. I used to use a uh, tight vinyl net, but that has uh, like a uh, moisture in it. It's like a, mm -hmm. I guess a water base. I'm not, not really yeah. water, but it's not. Uh, but anyway, it sucks up the moisture out of that glue into, into the fretboard and up here. And then it's, I will tend to warp it. Okay. So instead I use the epoxy because that doesn't do that. Okay. Sorry to chase you around so much. I I'm chasing you around. <laughs> but so it's a two-stage epoxy or two parts, yeah. Two part. Yeah. Well, that stuff is slick. 
seems to slide around all over the place. Yeah, it looks like it's, it can move. And then once it gets set, boy, it's set. <laughs> this one's quick, right? Well, it initially, but then it takes a good while for it to actually cure. So when we were putting the fingerboard together, we saw this little wormhole, but now it's like poking up. So as we squeeze the, the board down, the epoxy's pushing through. I mean, that's a pretty good pea-sized uh, bit of epoxy coming up. Now, to at least snug. Now we want to pull this joint part and get a couple out here on the sin. Uh, and this glue also smells very different. Yeah. I, there's a lot of reasons why I don't particularly like using this stuff. One is it's so sticky. You get it on yourself, it's hard to get it off. Do we need to do anything with the squeeze out or just leave it? Well, it's too hard to get in there to get it. So it'll get cut Okay, hey, we're going to sand off everything uh -huh. flat. Yeah. Yeah. Now, although we do need to get that off there because we want to put the nut up against there. You want to... Yeah, what I use is I, I put this down in there carefully. Yeah. Now this, I think it's too short, but this is the right size. And uh, otherwise, I mean, it's the right thickness. So. <laughs> Actually, that one's a little sick. I'm going to sand this down a little bit. We're ready. Oh, are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay, I just need to change the bit. Um, please pause for a brief. <laughs> sure. So now it's time to do the headstock veneer. And so as we're figuring out, as I've been planning out this guitar, um, we have a sycamore top, we have a tortoise pick guard coming from Holter pick guards, we have tortoise binding, tortoise rosette, uh, an ebony, dark ebony bridge. So then you start kind of figuring out what do you want to do, how do, what contrast do you want to bring, and what kind of conciliance or like through line do you want in the design of guitar. So the next one we're going to do is the headstock veneer in walnut. Now the reason I picked walnut is that we're also doing Waverly Ivoroid tuners. And so they have ivoroid buttons. And so it just seemed like a really good contrast between a beautiful kind of wavy um, thing. The other kind of poetic reason for this is that in the Shenandoah Valley, there's so much water. I mean, most of you know the song, Oh Shenandoah. So for me, there's something about this walnut that has this kind of watery feel to it. To me, it seems like the main thing with getting a guitar aesthetic right is getting the right amount of contrast in the right place, but still bringing the same themes throughout the guitar. So we have sycamore on the top into uh, an ebony fingerboard, and then we have a bright white bone nut. And so then it just felt right to have walnut or have something kind of medium tone instead of so bright, so dark, instead of having incredible contrast. So the walnut then would play really well against the nickel tuners and then the ivoroid buttons. And then all of that with the Osage orange on the back and side. So it just seems to flow. Anyway, well, we won't know if it's a bad choice until it's all done. So, well, anyway, so the next thing up, we're going to make the headstock veneer. So we didn't change it that much, but you can see like it definitely went through that time. And so we actually just stopped it. So it's gonna it was gonna take yet another pass. But because it's already through, we don't need it to do another pass. So. Okay. 
I believe it's gonna go. It's gonna be okay. I believe it'll be yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I, I had it. I tried to get help with other stuff. So you reach your hand in there like a maniac. <laughs> No, and what did you have to get? Um, you this the tiny, here, let me open this. This tiny, very important little piece of walnut. <laughs> There's Whoa. gotta be a better way. <laughs> yeah, so that's the tiny little bit inside the, yeah. the G. So, yeah, like, oh, well, the machine's coming. But yeah, it's right in between, like, the S and the top of the G. Okay, so it. it's tiny, and we've lost so many of these and had to make them by hand before which I would not recommend Sheesh. to anyone. Don't do this at home. <laughs> and But we, we actually saved this one today, so I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah. Where's the uh, mother of pearl? Right here. Okay. Yeah. And that has to go through from this. Oh, that's right. Thank you. And your little pieces got to go through. Something's the holding it. Side. Okay. Oh, this is holding it up here. Okay. So honestly, that's not, that's not a, a perfect fit, but it's pretty sinking close. And then, and so then we'll flip it over, and <laughs> put this like that. And this right <laughs> here. It kind of looks like an apostrophe or something, or like a comma. And then, okay, thanks. Okay, so there's your veneer. All right. Yay, after much. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. I just gotta see where these holes are. There it is. I think we got enough glue to do that one. I like that tool. <laughs> That's antique. You know what it is? It's an ice pick. All right, I did, I, I actually did see my dad use this one time to actually cut ice that was come delivered to our house in yeah. a cube. Like, yeah. And it was chip, chip, like chip. Like an ice block or an, an ice box. Yeah. Now you got that little piece out there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm running low <laughs> in these. Well, I mean, plants. look how many we have, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we got everything done that we uh, planned yeah. to do. Look at that, and it's even early. It's only 11. <laughs> but this is, I mean, Looks like a medieval torture device. Medieval <laughs> <laughs> torture device. Yeah. A lot of things in the shop look like a That's true. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, we did the CNC over here. We, we did the neck. And uh, this was another episode of me holding the camera, you doing a lot of stuff. Because it's all just techie, really specific stuff. If you go to showalterguitars.com, you can find both of them. Um, the guitar, what that we, that y'all just finished last week, the cherry guitar is now up on the website. 
uh, 110 is up on the website. So a lot of really cool guitars. This is the end of episode 13 and uh, a lot of hard work today. So, all right, make sure you subscribe if you're not. I'm Jeremy, that's Steve, that's Joyce. See you later. For holler in the hills of Appalachia No sir, you wouldn't know the name But it's prettier than heaven And where I'm at the world